good morning. Wednesday morning. Hey, you guys are living a, a victorious life. Your faith is increasing. And hey, that's amazing in these days because, you know, there are many people whose hearts are failing for fear. People are fainting, by the way. You got Christian people giving up on the knowledge of the Word of God and just, you know, just fading out. Uh, but you're still standing and you are, you're applying the Word of God to your life. And you, I want you to know this seriously. It's always been the remnant, okay, that has come through and God has placed his presence and power in to fulfill his purpose in the earth, okay? And so be happy, glad, joyous, because you're part of the remnant, all right? Be very happy about that, okay? Now, because it's time to go out of here, all right? <laughs> Listen, all right, this morning, here we go with the names of of God again, and this is again through the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Word of God, who became flesh and dwelt among us. And he gave us the characteristics of Daddy God, uh, who is Almighty God, through all of the performances that he did, walking on water, you know, conquering everything that he had to. Even the devils knew who he was, and they'd say, you are the Holy One, which is another name of God. You are the Holy One of God. All right, I didn't, I'm not talking about that today, but the devils knew that he was the Holy One of God, and they spoke his name out, and he'd tell them, shh, be quiet. All right. So again, we who know God should make him known, right? Even the devils did that. <laughs> All right. So when we get into this morning, this is another name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this comes out of John chapter 14. Okay. All right. And so, so come on, go with me real quick. Okay. Uh, Cause we only have a, a few moments, you know, and uh, somebody commented to me, we need to have this more than eight or nine minutes on, on in the mornings, but this is all we're going to give because it's called daily bread. It's not called, you know, a daily dinner. This is daily bread. <laughs> all right. Listen, chapter 14, let not your heart be troubled. Now this is, remember, this is Jesus talking, all right? Let not your heart be troubled. Okay. So your heart must take on peace. You believe in God, believe also in me. And, and, and he's going to tell you who he is in a minute, okay? You believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house. So he's demonstrating himself here as, as one with his Father. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. That means that he has a right to prepare a place for you because he wouldn't say it if he, if he, he wouldn't say I'm going to do it if he didn't have the right to do it, okay? He says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, and where I am, there you may be also. And whether, whether I go, you know, and, uh, and the way you know. And he says, and Thomas said this to, this to him, this is one of his disciples, all right? This is one of the brainy guys. He said this, he says, he says Lord, we know, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said this to him, I am. <laughs> Here we're going back to Exodus again where God revealed his name to Moses. Here we going back. He says, I am, okay, the way, the truth, and the life. I am, okay? Please get this, okay? Because when you don't know what to do, he's your way. All right? <laughs> when, you, when you don't know if somebody's telling you the truth or whatever, just go to him and he'll let you know uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't lining up with the word of God. He's the truth and he's the life. That's the life that you and I uh, uh, proceeded toward when we accepted him as Savior, you know, as Lord and Savior. And then guess what? He begins to progressively grow us into his life. Okay? Salvation is always a progressive work. When you got born again, you didn't know, you didn't know anything about yourself. You didn't know anything about God. You didn't know anything about the devil. All these things begin to become revelations to you as you progressively grow in the knowledge of God. Okay? So we see that Jesus says, I am. Okay, I am the way, the way, not a way. Like you hear people saying, there are many ways. All right, Jesus said, no, <laughs> no, 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 I got to correct this thing. All right, this is a perpetual truth here, an, an, an eternal truth. He said, I am the way. Okay, now I don't know how many people tell you that there are all these other ways to get to God. Okay, to get to life. That's what we're really talking about. Really, it's life. All right, it's not a religion. It's a life through a relationship, and God was willing to give us his own life, all right, as we progress through salvation, okay? And if you're not under the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as there's no name, 
given in, under heaven whereby men might be saved except his name. If you're not under his name, then it doesn't matter what you're doing because you're not going to end up in life anyway. Okay? And you can do all the good things. You can do all of the falling down and praying seven times a day. You can do all of the things of carrying the bananas to a statue and on and, you know, taking fruit and doing this. And you can put all of the little boxes and put a little fire things in them and send them across the creek across the creek or the lake or whatever. You can do all kinds of things that you want to do. You can worship stones and mountains. You can do all this stuff. Cut some wood, you know, and carve you a, a little a idol out of it and worship that. I don't care what you do. Let me tell you something. There's no life in any of that stuff. There's no life in those societies you join in all this. Jesus has told us, I am. I am what? And he described it in three particular ways. He says, I'm the way. I am the truth. So if you want to know truth, you have to get in him. I'm the truth. And then he says, I am the life. So this is one of his names, the way, the truth, and the life. If I'm somewhere in life... And, you know, and we all have been there. I know I've been there. I don't know about you personally, but I know I've been there. And I needed a way out. I needed to know truth to bring me to the decisions that I needed to make to, to maintain and sustain my life. And then I needed to understand what life was really about so that when I look at other people and talk to other people, I can tell other people really what life is really about. And life is really all about Jesus. He is, you might want to use this quote, but you have to give me credit for it. He is everything to everything. That's who he is. He's everything. This is what God was explaining to Moses. I am that I am. He is everything to everything. Everything that you could ever want to everything, he is that and much more. That's why he says, Paul said it like this in Ephesians chapter 320, that he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Okay? Because he is everything to everything. All right? So when we get into this name here, again, we're going into celebration. Christmas, hey, you know, the Lord's birth. Maybe he wasn't born on the 25th, but he was born. And we know he's born because he's born again in us. <laughs> and so, guess what? We celebrate him as the way, the truth, and the life. And we pray that every day in this you'll seek. If you don't know what to do, wait until you find out the way to do it right. Ask him, he'll help you. If you don't know, you know, the truth about a situation, get some counsel from the Holy Spirit and he will tell you what truth is because he's come to lead us and to guide us into all truth. And if you want to understand what life is really about, you be, must be born again and begin to experience Jesus. And the more progressively you invest and intentionally seek revelation of him, the more intensely he implies or, or, or should I say imparts himself to us so that we might really see what life is really all about, because then you can really see what the creation of life in God Jesus, in, in the Lord Yahweh, really contains. Amen. God bless you this morning. Use the name, because guess what? What he said is, if you've known me, he says, you should have known my father also, and from henceforth you know him and have seen him. In other words, we are the same, because I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning here on Daily Bread.